Hi, welcome to Bearing in Mind Beer Reviews. And we are in the middle of a series of uh, videos about Japanese autumn beers, fall beers. Uh, and today we are going to look at the fourth one. Uh, and that is this beer. It's called Asahi Kure Nai. It's a Martzen or an Oktoberfest beer. Uh, and it was released for the first time this year, 2019, uh, and it is definitely a seasonal beer. It says that in Japanese and in English on the can. Um, many things in Japan tend to be seasonal, and uh, food and drink are definitely part of that. Uh, the idea is to take advantage of the, the uh, things that nature offers you during that time. and in the fall we get these seasonal beers uh, uh, and there are a variety of them i'm going to look at seven in this series of videos um, the cans all have this basic sort of deep reddish orange color and leaves on them especially maple leaves uh, you know, the, the changing of the colors and that sort of thing um, so this beer is a little bit strong it's a 6.5%, um, and it does have some adjuncts. It has rice, corn, and starch, uh, which is a common feature of many Asahi beers, certainly the rice. Um, it, it employs crystal malt and uh, Amarillo hops. And the name Kure Nai, which is what you see right here, uh, <clears throat> So the kanji and then the reading here, kure nai, uh, means deep red or crimson color. Uh, it can also be pronounced uh, beni, which is uh, used in something like uh, the word for lipstick. Um, so red, red color. Uh, and the idea is, of course, red colors of the leaves in autumn here. So 6.5%. Uh, Oktoberfest Märzen style and brand new for this year and let's give this a go. Uh, many of the beers I review I have had before. Uh, this one I have not. So let's see how it goes. Okay first off what color do you see? Is it red? Would you call this crimson? No. Uh, many of the autumn beers we look at, or we have looked at and we will look at, are a much deeper uh, reddish or orange color. Uh, this one looks like, uh, pretty much like a regular lager beer. Let's give the aroma a go. Okay, I'm getting some light sweetness, uh, a little bit of roast malt. Very unimpressive. Uh, overall, I'm saying, I'm thinking this tastes like a uh, rather strong lager, uh, maybe a strong pale lager. A little bit of sugar in the background, uh, maybe a light bit of stone fruitiness, and not a whole lot else. Uh, the alcohol seems to be somewhat disguised, uh, which is good. Here, 6.5%. Um, yeah, so this beer seems to me to be somewhat misnamed. I wouldn't call it uh, deep red or crimson at all. The Amarillo hops are really not in evidence. Um, it tastes like many, uh, many Asahi beers, I think. Uh, it's got rice, corn, and starch as, as the uh, secondary ingredients after rice, after the uh, malt and hops here. So uh, 
not terribly impressive here. I think they could have done a much better job on this. Okay, so this is, again, Asahi Kurenai, 6.5% Oktoberfest Meritsen, uh, limited edition for the autumn season. You may see this in a uh, store, convenience store, department store. You might want to give it a try. I don't think I recommend this one very, very highly. Um, if I had to give it thumbs up, or thumbs down, I think I might give it a kind of in between, toward, tending towards down here. Sorry about that, but that's the way it is. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.